Good day everyone, I am Richard Campogon. Welcome to this video. Today, join me to trace the colorful ancestry of Dr. Jose Rizal and later, we will answer these two questions. What was the most significant influence of his paternal ancestry to Rizal that we know? And what was the most significant influence of his maternal ancestry to Rizal that we know? To trace back, we will begin with Domingo Lamco, the great-grandfather of Rizal. Domingo Lamco, the family's paternal ascendant, was a full-blooded Chinese immigrant from Fukien City, China, who arrived in Manila around 1690. He married a Chinese half-breed named Ines de la Rosa, and in 1731, the associated Mercado surname was honored due to its perseverance and honesty as a merchant in Manila. Lamco and Ines de la Rosa had two children named Josefa Dignio, who died early, and Francisco Mercado, the first Francisco Mercado in the family. Francisco Mercado was born in Binan, Laguna. In 1783, he became the governor Silio in Binyan. He married Bernarda Monica, a Chinese mestiza from San Pedro to Nasan, near Binyan. They had two children named Clemente and Juan Mercado. At the age of 22, Juan Mercado married Cirilla Alejandra at Tubigan. Juan Mercado became three times governor Silio in Binyan in the years 1808, 1813, and 1823. Historians said that it was he who registered his family as Indian, not their Chinese ancestry. Juan and Cirilla had 13 children, Gavino the eldest, Petrona, Potenciana, Leoncio, Fausto, Barcelisa, Francisco, Gabriel, Julian, Gregorio, Tomasa, Casimiro, and the youngest, Cornelia. Now, Francisco Mercado at a young age, eight years old, lost his father. Growing up, he studied Latin and philosophy at the College of San Jose in Manila. While at the College of Santa Rosa, Chedora Alonso Rialunda studied. Francisco met her. He fell in love with her. To know more about her, Chedora was born on November 14, 1827. Her great grandfather was Eugenio Orsua, a Japanese who married a Filipina named Benigna and gave birth to Regina. Now, Regina was married to Manuel de Quintos, a lawyer from Pangasinan. They had a daughter named Brigida who married Lorenzo Alberto Alonso, a Spanish-Filipino mestizo. They had children named Narcesa, Chedora Orizal's mother, Gregorio, Manuel, and Jose. Now, Chedora was the second child of Lorenzo Alonso and Brigida de Quintos, came from a professional family. Also, she was a business-minded woman, courteous, religious, hardworking, and well-read. On June 28, 1848, Chedora and Francisco decided to get married in Calamba. They settled in farming and business. Also, Francisco became Teniente Gobernador Silio or Lieutenant Governor in Calamba and with nickname Teniente Kiko. They had 11 children named Saturnina Rizal, the eldest child married Manuel Timoteo Hidalgo of Tanawan, Batangas. Pasiano Rizal, only brother of Jose Rizal and his second child, studied at San Jose College in Manila became a farmer and later a general of the Philippine Revolution. He was the only one who knew when Rizal went to Madrid to study. Narcisa Rizal, 
The third child married Antonio Lopez at Morong Rizal, a teacher and musician. Olympia Rizal, the fourth child, married Silvestre Obaldo, died in 1887 from childbirth. Lucia Rizal, the fifth child, married Matriano Herbosa. Maria Rizal, the sixth child, married Daniel Faustino Cruz of Binyan, Laguna. Jose Rizal, the second son and seventh child, he was executed by the Spaniards on December 30, 1896. Concepcion Rizal, the eighth child, died at the age of three. Josefa Rizal, the ninth child, an epileptic, died a spinster. Trinidad Rizal, the tenth child, died a spinster and the last of the family to die in 1951. Soledad Rizal, the youngest child, married Pantaleon Quintero. That's the paternal and maternal ancestry of Jose Rizal. Now, let us proceed to the two questions. The first question is, what was the most significant influence of his paternal ancestry to Rizal that we know? Undoubtedly, the paternal ancestry of Jose Rizal substantially influences him in different aspects and qualities of life. Specifically, his father Francisco Mercado always gave his best to raise and support his children. For Rizal, he called his father a model of all fathers through valuing morality, bravery, and leadership. Thus, Rizal inherited the qualities of reverence, prestige, and character. Also, to Rizal's education, which his father built a library and bought an expensive set of the university history by Cesar Canto for him as an effective compass to enhance his potential. Hence, when Rizal graduated from Ateneo and went home, because of his level of intelligence, his father decided to send him back to study at the University of Santo Tomas. To conclude, his paternal ancestry, especially his father, significantly influenced him all the good qualities he possessed. The second question, what was the most significant influence of his maternal ancestry to result that we know? Certainly, the maternal ancestry of Jose Rizal influenced him by valuing the qualities of excellence and professionalism. As being stipulated, Rizal's mother came from a family of professionals. She was good in literature, mathematics, and the Spanish language. She was the first teacher of Jose Rizal who taught everything for him. Also, she influenced Rizal to acquire numerous fields be a scientist, poet, writer, etc. Thus, Rizal had a strong foundation while young. His talents and abilities were enhanced during his high school and specifically in college where he became a genius. To conclude, his maternal ancestry, particularly his mother, highly influenced him in excellence and professionalism. This is the colorful ancestry of Jose Rizal that not just contained names of long dead people but also influenced him to inherit substantial qualities from his four beers. Thank you so much for being here. I am hoping that you gain something today. Once again, I am Richard Campogan signing off. Mm -hmm.